Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 14, and this is war number 4, and we are going up against an alliance called Asgard. Now, we are familiar with Asgard. Uh, one of our ex-members is a member of this alliance, so we know they're pretty tough. Uh, you can see the team that I went in here with. You will notice that I went in with Venom, because in section 2, I was going to have to deal with a stealth Spidey. So, path 1, you see they did not place a defender on that first node, which is common. And now I have to deal with a Namor. Well, Gladiator Hulk as you've heard in pretty much all the other videos, is a beast for this path. That Starburst activates his face me, and so he is the best choice for this path. While face me is active, he gets healed from most of the damage, and he does more damage. So with Gladiator Hope, it's all about that face me. All right, so this Namor, not going to be too difficult uh, to fight. Now, this war, or at least this video, is shorter than normal because I didn't get in a lot of fights with this uh, war. Uh, I'm not going to rant, but I believe there's a lot of I just don't care going on in my alliance right now. Uh, so even though we are alliance quest focused, and that's where we want to spend our items and our efforts and everything. It doesn't mean that we should drop Alliance War altogether, but it seems like some have that attitude. They're not able to do one or the other. Uh, all right, so we got uh, Namor down. And I don't have, I don't bring anyone for that many there. Now... I kind of got a little irritated, but, you know, these things happen. Uh, but as I told you, I brought in Venom. But you'll see my path, which is path two, is already taken. Uh, that was the only path that was available uh, when he joined. Uh, so that's why he ended up on that path. Uh, I was asked to help with path one. And I usually don't do path one because... I'm not so good at dealing with that buffet. And so it is what it is. I went in uh, to help out. Now, I know how to fight Blade. It's not a problem. You see, he's already regening up. Uh, so I decided to just let him go ahead and do that. Don't worry about the buffet. Build up poise charges and then just go ahead and go in. All right, and overpower the buffet. Do as much damage as possible while it is on a cooldown. Okay, so that's pretty much what my plan was going into this fight. Now, of course, if you have someone, you know, like Void or uh, somebody that can handle the, uh, uh, the regen, you do much better. But Starkey, he can handle himself pretty well because he can do so much damage that he can overpower that regen. And there's other champions that can do that as well. Uh, but that's why I brought Starkey into that particular fight. And we were able to get him down without any difficulty. Uh, of course, Elsa here is not cleared. So I had to back out of that. I'm not about to take any of them noted. Uh, when I came back, uh, she was cleared. Uh, but they asked me to help out with Hyperion. Now, none of my champions are especially good at fighting Hyperion, but my Starkey has that taunt mechanic, and so he was my best option for this Hyperion, as long as this Hyperion fired his specials. Uh, now, Starkey does have a little... Um, power control on his heavy attack but trying to get that heavy attack off when your opponent is debuff immune can be very tricky so I had to rely on baiting out his special hope he threw his special like right here I'm like please throw your special and he threw his special if he didn't throw his special that was it I was gonna just have to eat that special three and chances are I wouldn't have survived 
but I might have. So this fight was a little stressful, but we're doing okay. Here he is almost at a special three again, but he fired it off. So we're doing fine and boom, got him down. So just so that you know, that debuff immune really messes up Starkey. I was relying on baiting out the specials. I couldn't rely on his taunt because that's a debuff. All right, so that was my participation. Now, let's find out how we did in this war. All right, and as you can see, and as a surprise to no one, we lost. You can see that we did not even clear all of the bosses. That is where we're at, it seems, right now. I wish we could have given them a better showing, uh, but it is what it is. That's going to do it, guys, for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video, about the war in general. Uh, click like if you enjoyed it. And you all have a blessed day.